here. So a lot of you have watched my Elven Gacha taming slash finding and utilizing video, and you were curious on the best ways to craft element dust and how you go about that and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you that today. First of all, what you're going to need is the element, unstable element Engram, which can be learned on Extinction and I believe Genesis as well. And then wherever you are, wherever you transfer to, whatever map, uh, you'll be able to craft it. You can also learn shards, but it's really not worth crafting your inventory. Uh, but yeah, you need the unstable element and room. And then you'll need some stuff that will help you craft it faster. First, we have focal chility, which is a dish you can make in the cooking pot. Once you consume it, you get increased movement speed, but you also gain increased crafting speed. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. It helps with making dishes as well. You've seen my cooking videos. But... The important skill here, if you're going to use a Mind Wipe, which is another dish that resets your points available, as, long, as well as your engrams learned. So if you're going to use a Mind Wipe, use it on Extinction, so you can learn the Dawnstail Element engram again. We're going to just put a bunch of... Well, we'll put 200 crafts. So I want to show you the difference real quick that it makes. going to head over here. Grab some dust. It's a thousand dust per element. So as you can see, it is pretty slow, but even that 200% crafting skill boost does help quite a bit. There are tribes that create family share accounts or they buy the game again. And they go really hardcore. They have a whole character dedicated to just crafting skill be a max level character like 105 generally and they just put all the points in the crafting and then they log on occasion so once you craft the on sale element it has a two minute spoil timer don't panic you want this to spoil so if you're using a mod that reduces spoil timers uh in any way like if you put it in the storage bin watch out for that because sometimes it just won't spoil in the container but then once this spoils, you will have some element. So let's go about how we can do that efficiently. This is a SS dedicated storage, which is the continuously upgraded version of S plus. And over here we have the vanilla version. Obviously this one holds a lot more. And this is the basic way of how you should be crafting a lot of dust. So what you want to get is a whip. The better durability on the blueprint. See my blueprint video if you aren't aware on the differences between those. Um, better durability rather than damage really is what matters on whips because they're more of a utility slash defensive thing. So you want them to be lasting a long time rather than doing damage. Um, so this is just a primitive one. Uh, get yourself a whip. Get yourself a chair and a container that you could put the and a container you could put all the dust in. So then what you want to do is get a tri mate. This is one option. I've got uh, I've got one here <laughs> to help me out. And uh, what he'll end up doing is he'll open the container that's in front of you and make sure you're standing close to the chair. And what <laughs> he's uh, very excited. So, real quick, if you look at my weight, I only have 100 weight. So, I can carry 200% uh, of my weight, and then I obviously can't move. I'm stuck here, and that's all I can pull out. So, I can make three stacks at a time. When you're doing something that takes so long, you kind of want it to be AFKable, you know, go watch some Netflix or something. So, this is, I'm going to put all this back. I'm going to show you how to do that, if you will, uh, Quasimodo. Yes, rain down the dust upon me. So you got your whip. Get by the chair. Whip all this up. And as you'll see, doing it this way, this is great for farming as well. As If you uh, carry an Anki around and then whip it up to transfer, put a bed near a place where you can put all the resources...
All right, and as you can see, my whip has broken. I do have a spare. Also a great idea if you're doing this, because uh, how are you going to pick it up if it broke? <laughs> you can also kind of pick up extra if you press E, which for me is, or F, which is rebound the tab for me. You can sometimes pick up quite a bit extra. But as you see, I have a lot of dust now and way more weight than I should be able to carry. The 300, per, the 300 stack slot cap still applies. So watch out for that, uh, especially if you're trying to do this solo somehow, uh, which I'll show you soon. And you don't want to be wasting element dust, that's for sure. So then what you would do is sit in a chair or lay on a bed. Now you do this because when you're sitting in a chair, your food and water uh, drains very slowly, very slowly. Like you can sit here for a few hours generally, especially if you have air conditioners and you will be perfectly fine. You won't, you, I mean, if you're in a desert, yeah, maybe you'll get a little thirsty a little faster, even with air conditioners, at least on about where seems to be the case. But yeah, and then what you'll do is get as much crafting skill as you can. Just absolutely pump that. Because this is also crafting speed. Yes, it helps with blueprints, but it also, you craft things faster. Alright, so now we got a ton of levels in that. I'm going to make one of these. As you can see, that's tremendously faster than the 200% that we had earlier. And it will then give us in unstable element and then you don't really have to worry about anything from that point because it'll all stack up to 100 when it spoils like this and it's just normal element that you can use for all your tech stuff but um we're gonna go <laughs> oh my gosh i fell from the sky we're gonna go into a more self-sustaining build that you can do for this i'm gonna drop all this oh i should uh should show you the full chili too. Hello. Oops. I, I wanted to patch on the head, but uh, I guess that's the closest quasi mode it gets. Okay. So again, with the S plus slash SS uh, mod, you have the option to pull things. So, like in this case, you can also use dedicated storage to consolidate stuff. So I just pulled all that out. So with this i can put something in here a whole bunch of dust this is just for a little heads up for everybody who might be playing on a modded server boom you can fill up this container with dust super easy also if you wanted to do it uh solo what we just did like you don't have a trimite available but you really need some element if you have a setup that's kind of this close which probably is kind of what you want to go for so you don't lose anything especially like uh, boxes flying back here they just get absolutely wasted because you can't move although if you have tech leggings on you can hold left control the melee button and if they're powered make sure they're powered first before you do that i've screwed that up plenty of times you can walk slowly uh, even while completely overweight where you should be able to move it would normally be the super speed run on water uh tech function but if you want to do this say say we're over here okay we're pretty far away from our chair. You can actually, in arc, to up to a certain distance, not super long, but it feels pretty long for something like this. You can jump and hit F. And look at that. Throw some stuff down. We're right on top of the chair right now. We just, yep. Oh, I dropped my book, I guess. And we just whip everything up. Boom. Solo. Or well, apparently that is more than I can kill. Alright. Let's go look at the super efficient way that my tribe tends to do it. Okay. So Quasimodo is going to go outside and like... Uh, I don't know. Oh, he's, he's got himself there. Uh, and it's his body. Alright. But um, what you can do is either put some tech leggings on if you have that option or bring some dino, eventually just move a bunch of stuff into a container. This works really well, that crafting station, if you place it on the very corner, 
just something that will spit out here in this direction. Anything that'll fit in a corner and you have the least option of something going underneath or behind it to waste boxes of element. And for SS, S plus, you can obviously just pull into these types of things. Uh, dust. So now we're going to take both concepts. And this is in S plus slash SS a intake. So if you hit, you press E on this, smack it. Uh, so if I like, I guess I would need. Essentially, you could replace this with a box. You technically don't need this, but when you're crafting element, that's super important. So if you're AFK in a chair, or in this case, a tech bed, which will, you will not die. Uh, you know, it's if you're in a chair or bed, it's good if you're not paying a lot of attention to put the crafted element into a box to A, spoil, and B, make sure you don't accidentally starve to death and lose a bunch of element and then everybody's mad. Uh, so what you do is you fill up the box, right? We do that same trick where we jump back, tap F, whatever you have the remote inventory thing bound to. And sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll miss it. It won't open. Uh, but you'll get pretty good at this eventually. Uh, it's like screwed up. And then just do the same thing. If you hold O and spin around, you throw stuff out much faster than just holding O right here. See, look at those numbers go down a lot faster now. And then you just take your whip out. You just picked up the whole room in one hit. Safety durability on the whip. And you don't waste as much element as you might have lost. And then you sit in a chair or a tech bed. And tech beds are great. Tech sleeping pots, I should say. Because your health, stand, everything gets healed. Like, you, you're, you're set. Your XP goes up at a... Uh, slightly higher rate while you're in here. Then you just eat some focal chili. Craft some element. Just tap A a few times. And there it is. Very fast. You, you can get uh, essentially up to about 300-ish. A little under 300. So it's more ideal to definitely put like 250, 280... <laughs> stacks into the container if you have that much storage space like a vault or one of those ss tables and then uh yeah that's pretty much the gist of it it's uh then i covered like what to feed gotchas and stuff in the last video i should mention this because uh, i'm trying to be inclusive inclusive of the, the sss plus bots as they are so popular um there is a i'm gonna go into Creative. There is a gotcha. Okay, there's a gotcha gavager, which force feeds a gotcha. It, you could basically put a thousand slots of something, and they don't get mad if there's other gotchas around uh, of the same gender. Then there is the crystal cracker, which will automatically open gotcha crystals. And then the resources or items will just be in there. And uh, was the the item collector, which in SS has a amazing uh, new model that just it just looks wonderful. Honestly, spent some good money on that one. Let's see, even Quasimodo is like shiny. <laughs> um, and then I should also mention. The main benefit of gotchas, yes, element is great, but all gotchas are useful. So if you get a, a gotcha crystal, say you got, say you open a gotcha crystal, you get a long neck. Okay, it'll probably be higher than primitive, at least by a little bit, depending on your gotcha and whether or not you're feeding in the stuff we talked about in the last video, or it also snow owl pellets help them eat faster and produce more items specifically they they just love them honestly um, you should be feeding them as well to them so you get the items then what you want to do is get the grinder once you can it is expensive uh 
for a lot of tribes. It's also really big. I'm gonna go on the roof. Oh my god. Where am I? Creative is fast. Okay. And then we also have the SS grinder. So. You'll notice uh, these are essentially the same. SS one's a bit shorter, like a lot of things are in that mod, including the replicator. But what you can do now is get some gas for the quick. All right, so in the vanilla grinder, you need gas. Turn that on. You can hit grind all items now. This has this is fairly new, and it's amazing. And, or you can select it, it'll grind that one item, but now that you have that option, you should just hit this once you put everything in. You get resources back. Uh, it is less than half, I think, but when you get those higher tier items from the gotchas, once you have enough that you're like, okay, or you have better blueprints anyways, than what the gotchas are giving you, because they are capped now, at like 205% for weapons generally, uh, it's all kind of, I don't have super in-depth details on that anymore but uh once you get the higher tier stuff you get more resources back because it would have cost more to craft it so that's the real gems of gotcha items out of the crystals so don't be sad when your crystal doesn't have a bunch of dust in it and then uh for the ss grinder this one can be powered by electricity or at least tech electricity i'm pretty sure it can be powered by normal electricity as well and in, on most servers. You can turn that on, and it does have the grind all again. I'm gonna put in a grinder. Which, uh, so we'll grind all. Obviously those are expensive, they gave a good amount of resources back. So what you can do now, if you have dedicated storages unlocked, you can turn the grinder off, and it will send it to these dedicated storages. You have to set them, have them set up, and they would have to be the mod storages, which it will inevitably turn into anyways on server restart because of how the homesteading update for our went. And, uh, oh, oh my. Make it. Playing a little bit of, bit of dress up. <laughs> but, um. So this one is SS. If I. That's a great example. If I take some dust out. And I put it in the grinder. So this is also works great for just a resource dump in some cases. Put it in there. Send a dedicated. It's gone now. They use this same cloud pull function of stuff that you own to essentially direct those resources into that box. Uh, but that's kind of it. That's all we got. Uh, it's not super complicated. I just wanted to make sure I was going in-depth as I can come up with in my great grand experience of gotcha farms we've had gigantic ones that we have produced every single resource uh and it's just they're great i love gotchas all right the moto i think it's time to time to head out so if you guys enjoyed this if it was helpful at all please do hit that subscribe uh like and comment especially if you have any questions about it i love to clarify things if you have want to chill out, play Stream Raiders and uh, watch me play RuneScape, I'm streaming that like every day except Saturdays this year on twitch.tv forward slash Desher. Aside from that, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace.